Welcome back to City Skylines in the city of Damascus. And today things will be really nice because we are building our second university. But before we do any of that, I want to show you a couple of things that changed and to be completely transparent with what I do and how I do things, I want to let you know what happened. So oh, I just noticed this is a little bit too <laughs> too high there or too low the, the track and one of the things actually I'll, I'll fix that later but one of the things here is actually the tracks so if we look at like something like this we go into the track and we say oh can I update this no we can't we can even select that and the reason why is because I went through the whole map and everything that we didn't put down ourselves or basically that we, we didn't customize uh, or build in the city I went ahead use network mode tool and I locked the whole segments so if you look at these areas like this all now is locked the reason behind that was we were losing quite a lot of money and there were two things that we were spending a lot of money more than we should one was on uh, public transportation, but specifically trains. We were, we were using 49,000 per week just on maintenance. So in doing this, we've reduced that to 25,000 per week. And we are back there. The reason why I've done this is because in theory, I didn't put all these tracks down. The only thing that I've changed was uh, change the vanilla ones with the new ones that we, we got from the railway, railway network too and this was one of the things that we changed now the other one was that we were spending 98,000 per week on healthcare alone and that is a reason for that we're spending that money because of death care that's the, the only thing like that is always a, a death wave as you can see over here this is being insane realistic population it's way too many people uh which i like but interesting enough this doesn't have like the the correct number of people in there i believe let's try to reset it and see how that goes let's remove it and we'll see what happens in here but with that many people coming, like all of these people, we have uh, 50 something people in here, um, a lot in here as well. And with all of that, oh, look at this. So many people on this one, 50 households, 61 households. It is way too many people. So the healthcare struggles, not the healthcare, but the death care, because you need a lot more uh, hearse to pick up all the dead people around. But that is one problem that I'm having, which is, I'm just trying to find one while I talk, but what is that? I know that we had one around here somewhere. Well, let's take a look, uh, move it into death care and there we go. We have one over here. We never get the maximum amount of purse in use. So usually this building, it has 10 hearse and I've increased it to 14 to see if more hearse would go out. But as you can see, just five going out. There is a lot of people uh, dying around this area and like we don't have anyone to pick up the dead. If you look at this, this is the maximum that I always get. It's just 16. I don't know why, even if the building, the normal building goes up to 10. Uh, I've tried to manually change it to see if I would get more hearse going out. It doesn't. So what I've done, the, uh, the cost for this building is actually 800 per week. So I'm using customize it and I changed the maintenance cost this is basically the same way that i've uh, changed the hearse count 
in here but I've reduced it by half because I'm using quite a lot more and it's not balanced because this building is expensive I'm not using that is some sort of bug it's been a long time happening I asked for a lot of help no one could help me with that and I just gave up but now with the city growing this is just becoming a problem because the cost for all of this is just going crazy because I, I need to add more to get more hearse out there uh, I'm just usually getting uh, about half of what could go out and we have like all these buildings just waiting for hers and I can't do anything about that so this is me trying to figure it out and see if I can fix it uh, in terms of costs definitely there was a fix I think we are going up with the money at least the how much I want to I felt would be the right cost for that I think we are back in there if we go into here we are now spending 630,000 roughly and obviously this goes up and down depending on industry but these are the main changes that I've done in there so I've changed the costs for the death care building and I've locked the with node controller renewal the uh, train tracks so we don't pay for um, the service costs in there as that came with the map the only thing that we've done was to upgrade with the new uh, train track type that we're using from railway network which if you're curious this is the one that we're using there so with that out of the way then we come into what's happening today and i believe that today we will work in this uh, little island in here a few things in there that i want to make good use of one of them we've discussed this before is the tram track that we have in here so i definitely want to bring this into this area and connect to this area so we make like a, a the, we extend actually the line into here and the other one is that I want a new university why do I want or uh, do I want a new university if you look at this we are making a lot of money with this university uh, basically 80,000 more than what we spend here everything is working fine student capacity we are not at capacity but if we look at this and we look at we might need more high schools by the way but with maybe another high school in this area would be good but if you look at university we are in the red that is a lot more potential for us to have another uh, university and we do have a university campus area i want to create a trade school campus area because closer to this area we do have the uh, all the um, industrial there are some unique factories there are some specialized skill that we need in there and if we look quickly at the map here this is still a central area oh sorry over there <laughs> we can connect other public transportation options in here we can potentially bring another metro line that crosses in here and get over here maybe we connect over on this one as well this is something that we'll take a look at but I want to create the first steps for this so what we will do today I want to create the initial layout for the university now the initial layout won't be something like we've done here a huge area with just the university I will have like the main building and a couple more buildings uh, in a specific area just for them and like probably we have like a courtyard in the middle something like that and then around that we'll have buildings that'll be high density this island i think that'll make sense and between those buildings we'll have more university buildings as well so the university would be actually spread out across the whole suburb and that'll be what we will do around here so first things first 
I will create a nice, well, I say a nice, but just a rough um, zoning in here. So we know this is happening. And we will also add a university in here. So maybe I'll just go around like this, just so we have like something outlined here. I don't know where that will go yet. I'll look into it in a second, but at least we have like the, the basics for this. And then we'll start working on the layout. Now, in terms of layout, I won't bring you for the whole build, but we will definitely look at a few things together. And a few things that I see in here is that we do have this bit of an island that we could connect those two as if we want that land back. We don't need that. But what I'm looking at is basically bringing this road through here would make sense if there was a little bit higher or we just, I don't know, go around this and leave this as a green area over there. Might do that actually. And then if we keep looking at this, we have those two areas that have some yields on it. And if you look at this, this is how they look like. Now, I'll try to keep that. I'll probably make this um, some sort of bridge. Then we can connect both sides and we have more areas connecting this. We have an area connecting here, definitely an area connecting there, and this one connecting in here as well. And this is how I will start things. I'll potentially bring this up and I'll start working on the layout around here actually. So what I'll do, I'll bring a road and use this to create our road layout. Now, this area will be a little bit more gridded and I think that'll make sense to have the university in a gridded area. And as we expand out of the university, then we will start matching the more organic layout but i do want this area to be i then see and probably the grid will go all the way in this whole area over here and then we'll start uh, following the, the road layout here because we do have this uh, the river going around it on both sides and then that will make sense but let me start building this and I'll probably do a speed build so you can see some of the decisions that I make and then when we come back I'll tell you all about the decisions that I've made. some progress it's not done yet and i walk through the change so far and why we are not finishing everything today so let's start with the university as we mentioned that we this would be the central piece of this this area and it makes sense right this is the build from today <laughs> so what we have in here we have the trade school administration building Actually, I'll show you like this so you can see where are the buildings. You have the central area with the main buildings and then you start seeing some buildings all over the place. And what we've basically done, we have the dormitories in here. We have the book club and the trade school groundskeeping, the study hall. We have the gymnasium over here. And then obviously we have two cafeterias. <laughs> just because we need that, always need that. And then we have a police academy academy that we uh, unlocked before, so it's all good. Right now, we are still not making money, but we have everything that we need to level up. As you can see, a lot more students than uh, what we need. I'm having some academic uh, stuff in here, so the maximum. I gave a grant and we are waiting for that. We are waiting for 
the second year to level up. And that's why we haven't finished yet, because this takes ages before it, it levels up and then we can go on and add more buildings. So while I've been waiting, I've not been idle, so I've done a few things. As you can see, we have our nice train road in here. I still have to detail. Look at how many people in there. I also did a cheeky thing in here. As you can see, we have the metro building right there. And I think this just created something really interesting at the front there. And you can see a lot more people getting in and out of that building, which I feel like works really nice. So we do have the new uh, City Baseball Stadium in here. We still have to find names for all this area, by the way. Uh, please send so your suggestions. I would really love to, to see it. Uh, again, this is a trade school university and we have the baseball stadium in here. This is the area that we are currently in. And this is basically connecting uh, most of these areas all together. So we have that. And as I mentioned, the, whoops, sorry, jumpy. Uh, we have the new ground extended to this area in here. So we cross the river over here. We go through this area. We then have a stop over here. And now the train will go all the way to the fisherman's village. And if I can show you that, this is basically how many people has been using it. So 225 passengers so far. It's been quite busy. Uh, we have 19 vehicles. We I would love to have a train with a little bit less people, but this is the smallest one that I have, which is fine. We'll survive. And as this area grows, I think the utilization will go up as well. But what I want to show you it's basically how this connects all this area and goes here and go all the way to the land. There we go. And all the way back. Pretty lengthy line, but I think that'll be quite useful for us. And talk about lines and then lengthy lines. We have this very small metro line over here that we can expand towards the other side later on. But I've also now connected these two lines. So I've replaced the uh, metro station in here. Now we have this uh, hub for metro that connect the new line as well. This will go through here, which I also replaced with a new uh, hub in there that is uh, crossing each other's uh, line. And then we go across the river, go to the university and have another stop here at the fisherman's village that goes all the way through here. So above ground, that's where we go above ground right here. Let's move this a little bit further, but that's where we want to go. We are stopping in there for some reason. Oh, that was, I think there was a train in there. But yeah, we go in here. This is the transfer station for them as well. And then we go on our way back before a nice little metro that then goes underground and goes underground in this area as well. So this is public transportation in here. And by the way, showing you the metro line, how that's looking. Um, this is the small line. We still oh, we actually have 54 people per week, which is quite a lot if you look at the, the size of this line but the one that cross everything is this one yeah i got a little bit lost in there and as you can see ooh, we have a lot of people transferring now in here so what i might do i think the number of trains we have the right capacity i will probably jump from 240 I don't know if 300 or if I go to 400 straight away. How many people we have waiting? I think I will try with 300 
and then what is the might to be 100 there we go if it's not enough we update it for 400 ranks 100 capacity ranks i should say and there we go this is our policy exportation and one more this one unfortunately no one uses the ferry anymore so i'll keep this in here because we might extend this as we discussed before looking for there was a suggestion for a new uh, ferry that could go into uh, taller ferry stops but i haven't looked at that yet but back to this area as you can see i left some uh, space in between the reason why i did that is again i'm waiting this to upgrade and when it does we'll go there and get things sorted and same time this is all high density and we have to wait them to get educated things like that we do have some services around here so in terms of health we have one over here and i feel like we should actually add another one over there and we have a uh, elder care child care over here and in terms of death care we have one here one there we have a fire station we have one only at the moment and i believe i would actually add an extra one over here we have a bank we have police over there i want to add another one you know what i'll add that straight away why not and then for schools we have high school here and there and elementary school here and there now they were yeah, they're full as you can see almost full in here this one is full and this one is full as well so this will take a while for this to get in there elementary school we have okay demand high school it's better now than it was before so we improved that a little bit and just to show you university it's still pretty bad oh we are working towards that um and in terms of what we've done in here mostly residential as you can see a couple of um offices a lot more commercial in here i will add even more commercial in this area i believe this might be commercial as well oh i'll add that in there and then finally we have the stadium which is from the sports venues content creator pack recently released and i like it's one i, I love these stadiums like all the stadiums there is not just one that i like it's all all of them so this is here uh, this will be the thing for this area really happy with that and we've just level up so let me just put down those new buildings and i'll be right back okay all sorted so what we have that's new in here we now have oops well i can start by there i added some new grants and we are now ready for the next level again and we are now making money as well yay <laughs> that's really good but we have this new statue uh, over here we also have this new school of tourism and travel which will actually help us to um, the commercial area will give us more money actually i didn't mention about the police academy uh, this will actually help reduce crime in the city as well uh, we have a new trade school dormitory over there and we have the trade school commencement office over here i thought this would be a nice area because we do have the lungs of the city in here we have all these rocks it's quite secluded look at them over there all happy celebrating and it doesn't fit in the middle which i haven't detailed yet but i haven't forgotten as well so we'll get to that but yeah i think for now oh and one more thing i've added zoning in here and over here as well 
So I'm still keeping a little bit because we do have two levels to go with the university and I want to make sure that we we have space enough for all the buildings. And again, there is another book club in here just because I just added something, something in there. But that'll be it for today. As I mentioned, if you have any suggestions for names in this area or the neighborhood or the university, uh, and then potentially we change the name of the stadium based on that. Please do let me know. I will gladly uh, accept your suggestions. They are always welcome. If you want to see anything else in here as well, um, again, keep sending suggestions, comments. I really appreciate that. This trim line was one of the suggestions. Really, really nice addition over there. And we're still working on this area. There'll be a lot of detailing going around and we are still improving everything that we have in here. I haven't done the, uh, the crossings or anything like that. So all of that will come very, very soon. But for now, I hope you are happy with our current progress. I hope this was a nice surprise. This is the first time I do two universities in one city and I think it was making a lot of sense to add this in here. I hope it makes sense for you as well. And if you want to have a chat, consider joining our Discord server. The link is in the description. We share our cities, screenshots. We talk uh, about the suggestions that we have here. We talk about other games, talk about life. That is uh, around 100 people in the community over there. And they are really, really nice. And it's a... Uh, a safe place for us to get suggestions and uh, learn a little bit more about the game as well. But for now, thank you everyone, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!